Hello there! For those of you following our PAX giveaways, you'll have noticed last week I said we'd announce the winners on Friday. And then on Friday, uh, we said Monday. Well, now because of reasons you might understand if you work for a biggish company, it's tomorrow, Tuesday. <laughs> Now's the part where you could throw the vegetables if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, but for those of you who don't care, here's some tech news. This episode is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. Check out the link in the description below for some amazing deals. We've seen Google's attempts to merge Android with Chrome OS with the addition of Android app support to select Chromebooks, but Google's ambitions don't stop there. According to multiple reports, Google is working on another operating system meant for PCs codenamed Andromeda that brings features from Chrome into Android, not the other way around. Maybe Andromeda is like a play on Android Andromeda? Anyways. Sources have told Android Police and 9to5Google that Andromeda will be powering both a 7-inch tablet made by Huawei and the Pixel 3, a convertible laptop with the codenamed Bison. Bison will apparently not be marketed as a Chromebook, instead being placed as a more powerful device to compete with Windows PCs and Mac OS devices. It's said to have a 12.3-inch display, Intel processor, two USB Type-C ports, a backlit keyboard, and a Force-sensitive trackpad. This is a lot of information, but I'll have to be honest, when I saw all this news about Andromeda, for a second I got excited that they were bringing back the genre-defining classic starring Kevin Sorbo. One day. We haven't really reported on the whole Palmer Lucky Oculus thing because it's kind of political and we try to stay away from that for the most part, just focusing on tech news, but now it's clear that it might actually have an effect on Oculus's fate as a company. So, in case you've had your head in the sand, the Daily Beast published an article last week revealing that Oculus founder Palmer Lucky funded a group called Nimble America, which is dedicated to spreading anti-Hillary Clinton memes. Then some game studios announced that they would not be bringing their games to the Oculus Rift, and some others can canceled their planned support for the Rift because of the controversy. Lucky posted an apology on Facebook saying he actually supports libertarian presidential candidate Gary Johnson, but a number of his statements appear to still be erroneous. Now, the most recent development is that Oculus executives Brendan Iribe, Iribe, I don't know how to say his name, and Jason Rubin have both stated their support for Lucky, saying that his actions in no way reflect the values of Oculus and that he is free to support whatever cause matters to him. Given the PR tangles that Oculus has already found themselves in with game exclusivity and still not having motion controllers, this whole debacle is really not what they needed right now. What do you guys think? Should Palmer Lucky's personal beliefs dictate whether we support Oculus? I mean, I don't think he really even has an official job description there. He's simply the founder. Leave a comment below. And some simpler news here to end off the main stories. More info on NVIDIA's upcoming GTX 1050 and 1050 Ti has leaked. The two cards are reportedly both based on the Pascal GP107 GPU with 768 CUDA cores. The 1050 Ti would feature a full fat version of the chip with 4 gigs of VRAM, while the vanilla 1050 would have a cut down chip and 2 gigs of memory. Both cards are apparently scheduled to launch next month with a TDP of 75 watts, but the 1050 Ti is getting here first. Classic 1050. 50Ti, always jumping the gun. It is time for... There comes a time in every man's life where quick bits need to be viewed. <laughs> I'd say you're right, Cryptex. You always are, you smug bastard. Send us a clip of yourself saying quick bits for a chance to get featured. Researchers at North Carolina State University have fabricated a processor that uses nonlinear circuits, which could enable a chip's transistors to be used for more than one task, a technology based on chaos theory, the name of a field in mathematics, but also a splinter cell game. I think they're referencing the math one. Just a hunch, though. Meanwhile, Uber is researching the use of vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL, aircraft to add to its fleet of boring old four-wheel cars, because it is the current year, and enough is enough. Images have leaked of what is supposedly Google's 4K-capable Chromecast Ultra, which is expected to be revealed at Google's October 4th event, along with the Pixel phones, a VR headset, a Wi-Fi router, and the Google Home AI device that's supposed to compete with Amazon Echo. So. Get ready for gadgets. And GOG has added more games to their GOG Connect service, which gives you DRM-free versions of games that you already own on Steam. Good guy, GOG. GGGOG. Sounds right.
Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Hey, it's three people's birthday today! I mean, it's probably more people's birthday as well. But these are the three I know about. Happy birthday to Zach, Jonathan, and this person. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name and I don't want to butcher it. If, if you're watching right now or someone's watching and you know how to pronounce it, say it for me. Three, two, there we go. I'm sure you're all lovely, intelligent people. Speaking of intelligence, we like to think of ourselves as pretty smart people here at NCIX Tech Tips, especially me, since I wear glasses. And as everyone knows, people who wear glasses are more intelligent. That's why increasing amounts of my bespectacled brethren are doing the smart thing and buying their glasses online at glassesusa.com. But you're smart, you require more evidence, so let's get scientific. Usually glasses are so expensive because retailers, wholesalers, and optical labs all take a cut in the process of getting the glasses from the manufacturer to you. GlassesUSA.com can sell glasses directly to you for cheaper by cutting out the middleman, manufacturing your frames and lenses themselves, and shipping them for free in the US and Canada. Now that is smart. With a huge selection of over 2,500 styles, including designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Armani, and more, you're sure to find one that works for you. Try them on with a virtual mirror. Heck, I did. Check these out. This is the Harry, and when I wear them, I feel like I'm in a bloody Guy Ritchie movie, yeah? This is the Ototo Tasso, which I really feel re-revolutionizes my whole look. And this is the Muse M8090 and their prescription sunglasses so I can look super cool and see clearly at the same time. Now that's smart, again. Be smart, click here or here to go to glassesusa.com and get a great offer on your first pair. They got a one year warranty and you can get a full refund within 14 days of delivery. So factor that into your risk assessment. Intelligent person. I just thought these looked more intelligent. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on Twitter over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have two or three very intellectual debates to get to because I am, as we discussed earlier, so smart. Ah, but what if my opponents also have glasses and are therefore equally as smart? Well, then I suppose nothing will be decided, which is what happens at debates anyways. Hey-oh! Alright, see you later.